What is going on guys, Surgeon's Tech Tips. I'm going to be showing you how to use a micro SD card or just a regular SD card from like a camera for example as a virtual memory on Windows 10 because this, this isn't necessarily a recommended video or a requested video but I did say I would show you how to do it because people were asking. So, hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is a bad example because my micro SD card actually says 128 gigs. However, it shows up as 32 because I got scammed. But 32 is still technically good. But either way, it works. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously take your micro SD card or if you just have a regular SD card. In this case, I have a micro SD. So if you do have one, just go ahead and put it in the adapter, which you will need unless your computer has an SD card slot, which... Or sorry, if your computer has a micro SD card slot, which might be the case for you, not for me. But anyway, so you can go ahead and enter this, your micro SD card into the slot, however you're, whatever, whatever you're using. It should show up. It's going to pop up or open it up. I have it as blank. So the first thing I want to show you is the reason I'm doing this is because I only have 6 gigs of RAM. And I cannot stress this enough. This will not help with gaming. It's probably not going to do a dramatic change in your computer. I only have 6 gigs of RAM because that's all I have available. I do not have another 4 gig stick. And when I do get one, I'll have 8 gigs of RAM. However, until then, I'll be using this. This will not make a dramatic improvement in your computer's performance. However, it will help a little bit because it's just going to put page files, configuration files, and say I open up Microsoft Word, see how it takes a while. What it's going to do is it's going to preload that on the CPU, is which is how your computer learns. That's why sometimes it works really fast. But it will preload that on the CPU then set it to the RAM, but if there's not enough RAM, it's not going to know what to do, that's why it's slow, so it's going to use a micro SD card for that. So the first thing you want to do is obviously go to the File Explorer, make sure you right click on it, Format, click Restore Device Defaults and click Start, I don't need to because it's already formatted. So if you are done formatting, go ahead and right click, go to Properties, click the Ready Boost tab, it will take a few minutes to load because it's just retrieving the information. And before I do that, as you can see I have 28 gigs, 28.9, so technically it's 32. You can actually do dedicate this device to use as to ready boost or you can click use this device so you can still put files on it in this case we're just going to be going ahead and doing dedicate because i don't really care for this micro sd card so you can actually put it to the amount you want which it's going to do use this device but if you click dedicate it's just going to use the whole thing so go ahead and click apply it's going to say ready boost is confirming your cache sorry configuring your cache then click ok as you can see, it's filled up a little bit, and if you actually go to it, you can see it's got a ready boost file. You can't open it because it's just it, no. And I wouldn't recommend deleting it. If you if you want to, you can actually put files on here, but it's not it's not gonna like mess up the computer. I wouldn't recommend it because it might mess with the ready boost software. However, it's just gonna use it for RAM. The, that's it. That's all I can tell you. You can already see it's used a few gigs. It's used eight. It's used 4 gigs of space. Actually, 3 gigs, sorry. I'm not very good with math, but either way, it's all done. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. If you guys don't enjoy the video, drop a dislike. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Uh, well, that's all I can say. This will not help with gaming. I'm not going to stress that enough. I'm saying it before people try to ask. Uh, so, yeah, you can do it on a micro SD card, a flash drive. I'll link. There will be a link to do it on how to do it with a flash drive. I'm super tired. Sorry, guys. See you guys next video, and peace out.